Early voting for the March primaries begins five days from now. Midlanders had another opportunity tonight to hear from the men running for Midland County Sheriff. A forum was hosted tonight at the Greenwood Volunteer Fire Department. It was a traditional town hall style meeting where people were able to stand and ask their questions to the candidates. We'll take you inside the meeting in just a moment. Today, though, we've learned that one of the candidates' path to sheriff, if elected, would be more difficult than the others. Candidate Joe Lozano was convicted and sentenced in a workers' compensation fraud case in October of last year. According to a release from Texas Mutual Workers' Compensation Insurance, Lozano reported a job-related injury while working as an appliance repairman in Midland and claimed that he was unable to work because of an injury. Though, while he was being paid income benefits, Lozano was working as a self-employed appliance repairman. His fraud charge is a Class A misdemeanor. I was able to ask him tonight about that conviction at the forum. He says that case is settled and is not worried about it. But today, I can say that's behind me, and I can go forward. I feel great. According to the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement, elected sheriffs without a peace officer's license have two years to earn it. Though people working to get a license cannot be convicted of a Class A misdemeanor and higher, if they are, they would have to go before the T. Cole administration and have a representative vouch for them. Lozano says he's prepared to do that if elected. 